second possible approach is the classical say inversion, which means that you ask the software to perform an automatic inversion. In this case, you have to pick your dispersion curves. So in this case, for instance, you have to, this is a very clear fundamental mode. So you do something like this. This is a mode. Uh, yes. Uh, this is the final point of the fundamental mode. You save, for instance, you can call it a uh, name. Pick it once more. Then, if you want, if you wish, it's always better, if you are sure, you can pick also the higher modes. For instance, here I think this is a different mode, and I think this is the first higher mode. I can pick it like this. Then, uh, uh, as we saw in the previous section when we were modeling the data, I think that this is the second higher mode. So I will pick it something like this. And in the end, I would also consider the third higher mode, because in this case it's quite clear, as we saw in the modeling. So I would pick something like that, or last. And we save it. Uh, if we want, we can refresh then, and we pass to the next section, which is the automatic inversion say, panel. It's here, this is what we picked. We can set the search space, uh, that means that we will ask the software, the algorithm, of finding the best solution within this search space. And I know, in this case, I know that there is a bedrock somewhere, deep somewhere, uh, 20 or 30 meters or less. And we can fix the minimum and maximum uh, values for both for Vs and thickness for each layer, and you can also fix different Poisson ratios. If this is not very important for dispersion analysis but if you want you can if you wish you can do it then you save the search space if you are satisfied you can modify some parameters you you, you should have a look to the manual you, you can download from the from this site and then if you are completely satisfied and sure about this uh, general setting you can invert the data just click in here the inversion starts, you will wait a couple of minutes and then you will get something that I will show you in the next section. And in the end, when the inversion, the automatic inversion is performed, we'll find in the output folder, which is this one in this case, uh, several same files. And the most important ones are, for instance, this one, which is about, uh, yes, this is your velocity spectra, this is what you picked, and the dispersion curves of your uh, of your model or your final model. This is about the say genetic algorithm, which is the say engine. I mean, driving the the version. And here you have your model, basically your model. You, you can see here at, at about 25 meters there is a there is the bedrock. Uh, you can see two models. One is the mean model. The other one is the so-called best model. But please have a look in the manual. And then you have the, your, your, the snapshot of your, say, main panel where you pick, picked your, your dispersion curves. And here you have the, the column that you see, the S density, which is just estimated, of course, and the thickness. And then you have this kind of uh, report file, it's HTM file, with all the basic data reported here, the date, time, the, the name of the file, and uh, blah blah blah, PS, thickness and so on. And that's it. <laughs>